Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. In this video, we're going to talk about Jizzy and Jeannie Mai. Now, we have all learned that Jizzy has filed for a divorce from his wife of two years, Jeannie Mai. Now, since then, there have been so many different theories about what could be going on besides the obvious about what has always been right in front of our eyes. Jeannie Mai is a PR, you know, wife, let's keep it real. And at this point, the manner in which Jay-Z has been parading himself on Instagram, it's given the sense that he's saying, you know what, I'm a proud married man and I'm going to work on my marriage or this all was a PR stunt. But let's talk about what is actually being reported today. No, it's coming from TMZ. Sometimes TMZ, they have it right. Sometimes they have it wrong. So I want to say take it with a grain of salt until the divorce hearing in October coming up, right? Now, according to this report from TMZ, they're saying that GZ and GNMI, they're still living under the same roof as their divorce grinds through the legal system, but it is as awkward as it could be. Now, let's pause here for a second, right? Because um, since we've heard of this divorce, there's a clip that is coming back full circle and it has solidified a lot of what I've been saying to you guys. Jean Mai in this clip was talking about his mother, Mama Mai, you know, coming to visit and she has overstayed her welcome. Jeezy wanted Mama Mai out, but really doesn't want to hurt her feelings. So he left it to Jeannie to talk to, you know, her mother about overstaying her welcome. And I believe that, you know, even though that is a past clip, some people are making it seems as though it's recent. It's not. That clip is at least a year old or somewhere between eight, eight months to a year old, right? So it's not recent. But even though so, it has still given us an essence of what could have potentially led to GZ um, filing for a divorce from his wife, right? Now, let's continue with the article because the article further states that sources familiar with the situation tells TMZ, Jizzy and Jeannie Mai are still living together in Georgia, but there's very little interaction going down between them. They cross paths as they come and go from the house, but that's about it, right? So it seems as though things are awkward because just imagine your husband filing for a divorce from you, but you want your marriage to work. So for a second, it's going to be awkward, even if they're working to save the marriage. It's going to take a while for them to fall in love with each other again. Not saying that they have necessarily fallen out of love, but at this point, there's just so many questions, so many mixed feelings, so many emotions, and they may believe that it's not the best time for them to sit and talk tr through it, and as such, they want to let go of the anxiety, the tension first, and then they might move forward with a marriage counselor, providing that they decide to give love another try. But Honestly, it is very questionable because you know what? Jeannie is a narcissist. And as I've been saying to you guys, being a narcissist is not necessarily a bad thing because some people, they grew up under harsh circumstances and as such, they have developed that narcissism trait and they have been using it as a survival tool, right? And I believe that everyone has some amount of narcissism, but it's how you tend to, you know, use it. Are you going to use it against the people you love? Because I do believe that if Jeezy gives Jeannie Mai another chance, she's going to be a lot smarter in the marriage and she is going to be one hell of a narcissist and it's going to take a long while before Jeezy sees it 
providing that both of them are not tricking us and using this as a PR stunt to sell his book. Because looking at things, again, that is also one possibility, okay? So I just wanted to say that. But guys, you know what? I don't want to add to the conspiracy theories. I rather go with what is black and white right in front of us. And I'll tell you what the media is saying. Because this is a marriage, you know. And I believe that we need to be a bit more caring with our delivery. Even though at times it can be harmless. I want to be a bit more sensitive towards this couple. So that's all I'm going to say for now. But let me know what are your thoughts. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. And talk to you all later. Peace.